Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Donna. I would like to share um, some things with you. Um, one is an experience, and two is a dream that the Lord had given me. Um, last week, I had a, um, a situation that happened at the job where I was upset with two people, and they were I felt they were mocking God. And I went home, and I spoke to... Um, First, my husband, and then I went to prayer and I asked the Lord. And I was happy that I didn't sin. I was happy I didn't get upset and say something that would, by walking in the flesh and sinning. So I went, went to the, went into prayer. Um, a couple nights later on Saturday the twenty seventh, the Lord had given me a uh, a dream, and I believe when I had the dream that this had to do with my family because he showed me going into a house and I knew the people. So when I woke up the next day, it was a the 28th, a Sunday, I had woken up and I, I was asking the Lord, is this regarding my family? And I got a confirmation it was regarding my family. Then he was guiding me to start preparing to back up my scriptures and this would win, uh, help my family understand the situations in their life to know what's going on. Um, I mean, I spent over 13 hours backing up scripture, writing everything down, but that way they can see it on paper and then I'll have the Bible and bring it to them. So, um, excuse me, no sitchy. Um, the dream that he gave me was regarding the the situation at my job that I was upset with. And um, it was also the area where I grew up. Now, we're kind of on a, a hill. So there's one, two, there's two blocks going down. So you go down this little hill. And I think it's called West West Side. No, Prospect, sorry. It was, it's called Prospect Street. And then it goes down to, passes the alley. Then there's a street called Sharp Street. And then it brings you right down to Conklin. So it's a, it's a nice big hill. So I see myself going down to the bottom of the hill. And there's a gentleman that I had the issue with. Um, regarding that issue... I didn't sin. The next day I went to them and I asked them very nicely, please watch what they say when they're mocking God. I said, because it offends me. And both of them were appropriate. One didn't realize that it was even that he was mocking. Um, to me, I took it as mocking. So the Lord gave me this dream where I'm coming down the hill on Prospect Street. So I come down all the way down to the Conklin. So it's two blocks down. Now, when I come down to the bottom of the hill, there's a huge, huge field. There's two of them. There's actually one, four fields, and they lead to three schools. One's a middle school. One's a, a St. Peter's school. I think they closed it down. And there's a St. Peter's church. And then there's an elementary school to the left as, as I'm standing. And there's a big field. There are huge, big fields. So... There's a little tiny like um, hill to go down to the bottom. It's like maybe four feet down the little hill. But they have a fence and they have a walkway on the main road. So you can stand on that sidewalk and look over and you, and you can look over the whole area. Now, as I get to the bottom, the gentleman that I had the issue with, he was there. And he said, you see the storm? And I said, yes, I see the storm. I, and I think I said, where is it? Because I was looking at him, and then I turned, and he goes, there. And I said, okay. And it was over by the, near the St. Peter's School Street. I don't know the name of that. Well, anyway, in the house, there's a house, there's several homes there. There were at least a, um from the school property, there's got to be like four houses on the same side, on the opposite side. There's got to be like 12. So 
I see the storm and it's a whirlwind and it's gray. And I could see this whirlwind. It looked like a um, tornado. And it was huge. And I, I started boldly walking to the storm. Like I had no fear. I had no fear. It was great. And I started walking right towards this, this storm. And then I entered the house. And I knew the people in the house. So, um, that was the end of the dream. So I said, oh, this is about my family. I, I know the Lord was telling me he's waking up my family. I said, okay. And then the, the 28th, the Lord had me all day in scripture and writing and getting all the information I need to show them and that, you know, to wake them up. And so... That's what I did on Saturday, uh, Sunday, I'm sorry, Sunday, the 28th of June. Now, last two days, I have been thinking, it's been coming to mind, you know, something happening soon, because it's been getting this feeling that something's coming. And then today, I came home from work, and I was telling my husband, I said, you know, I believe... Minister Paul and by his grace had shared about Chicago. I remember them and Annie and by his grace, Annie, she had shared about how she was seeing fireworks by the pier. And I remember having the dreams down by fire, um, not fireworks. I didn't see fireworks, but I was in, I was in San Francisco and it was down by a pier. But I knew it was calamity. There was a lot of stuff going on and there was danger. Um, I wasn't showing anything, but it was the feelings behind it and planned events. Is it the same scenario? I don't know. But um, but what came to mind was Minister Paul and Annie's uh, prophetic messages from the Lord that about Chicago. So I... I was talking to my husband about it, and I he goes to take a shower, and I decided, let me watch a video. And I haven't watched this man in a while, because I've been studying. His channel, his um, channel name is Matthew Patrick Winfrey, and the video he put up, which is today, July 2nd, 2015. Now, in, in the title of his message, it says, Urgent Vision from the Lord Distress. Now, he speaks about how the Lord showed him ice cream and showed him, um, he heard, not showed him, just showed him ice cream. I think he said with the cherry. And he heard Sunday. So I was telling my husband about it and how... There was a comment. I, I wrote a couple of comments and I shared it. I wrote, okay, two comments. I thought I wrote three. Um, there's a guy, Coy for Christ. He he was saying how the Lord's been giving him Jeremiah 42.10 and Obida. Obidiah. Obidiah. I, I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that. Obadiah, Obadiah, of uh, chapter one, verse thirteen, and he talks. He stayed in calamity, so I went into prayer, and I'm just asking the Lord, Lord, you know, is something coming like this weekend? Something gonna happen this weekend? Because we all been feeling it. Either it's July or September. We know that something is coming. I open up the Bible. And it brings me to my vision that the Lord and also confirmation of what this, this gentleman is sharing. And I'm going to read what Jeremiah chapter 1 is. And I'm going to show you. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 1. Okay. So this is what it states. Okay. Now it came to pass in the thirteenth year, in the fourth month of the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captive by the river Chabar, that the heavens were open, and I saw a vision of God on the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of the king Je 
Jehovahkin's captivity. The word of the Lord came expressly to Ezekiel, to, to uh, Ezekiel the priest, the son of Bozai, in the land of Chaldeans by the river Chabar, and the, and the hand of the Lord was upon him there. Then I looked, and behold, a whirlwind was coming. Sorry, I'm really close. Um, verse 4, Then I looked, and behold, a whirlwind was coming out of the north, a great cloud of the north coming I'm going, to read, I'm going to read this again. Then I looked, and behold, a whirlwind was coming out of the north. A great cloud with a raging fire engulfed itself, and brightness was all around it. And radiating out of its mist was the color of amber, out of the mist of the fire. Okay, to me... This is confirmation to my one, my vision, the stir of the whirlwind. I was going to put it up, but I really do. I really, when I got this message last week, and it was on my heart a couple of times, I said, okay. I I asked only about if this was regarding my family, because I saw them in the house, and the Lord had revealed, yes, it was. So I didn't ask about the storm, but during the week, I kept thinking, there's a storm coming. I said, oh, maybe it's a storm over my family. Well, a storm is coming. And I was back and forth on it, but I never questioned the Lord if it was on American soil or something's coming. So, uh, now we know the first month uh, for the Jewish calendar First month is March, April. So the fourth month would be June 29th, Tamaz, to July 29th. So it's a whole month. Okay, so it's a whole month. So we have, it's always at the end. So it's a whole month. So you end of June to the end of July. Since we're already out of June, it would have to fall for July. So, and what does it say here? It says, the fourth month, which would be July, on the fifth day of the month, which is July 5th, would be Sunday. What Matthew Patrick Winfrey was just speaking of, the Lord gave him. Sunday, ice cream, and Sunday. So he had two interpretations of his dream. He wasn't sure what it was, but he says he's just putting it out, and he knows uh, it's a distress. He doesn't know if it's distress on the church or distress on um, that's coming, you know, uh, the Sunday or a Sunday of the month of July. But I find it amazing how this year, July 5th, falls on a Sunday. And then when I was reading, went further down, and then I looked and I saw verse 4, and I was like, Then I looked, and behold, a whirlwind was coming out of the north. Now I'm trying to think the direction... It would be northeast where I was headed down the hill. I believe it was northeast. Yeah, I was. I believe so. Um, please take everything to the Lord for confirmation. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video to let you know. Um, be prepared. We don't know if something's. Um, gonna happen this Sunday or any other we do know something is coming a lot of people can feel it um, seek the Lord for confirmation discernment uh, please be prepared emotionally food and water suck up on food and water and 
Put your full armor of God on. Check your garments daily, guys. Repent daily. Uh, I've been asking the Lord and, and praying and asking Him to reveal all my inequities because I am striving to walk not in the flesh because when we walk in the flesh, we sin and we um, are under the law, which means we are falling from grace. If you read uh, Galatians, and the Lord had shown me, because I know a lot of people don't believe that, um, that the old laws apply. But if you read Galatians and you ask the Lord to please reveal it, to open your eyes to have the spiritual awareness, he shows you. And he says the only time you, the law does not apply and we're under that grace is when we walk in the in this nine fruits of the Spirit. We would walk holy as Christ. So I praise our King and I've been praying and asking him to show me where my inequities are. I want my garment white. I want to go home. I, um, not even that. I want, I want all the filth that's been attached to me for so many years. And the Lord has really been, um, showing me why I was the way I was. I was very quiet, very withdrawn from this world. I hated this place. Um, I've been oppressed all my life by demonic entities and fear was a major, major thing and resentment and envy and, um, bitterness and anger towards people because of why was my life so horrible that everyone else has such a happy life and they have these beautiful homes and these big cars. So not even that. I just wanted a, a small little house to be happy and, and have my family. I never received any of that. Like I was married, divorced, and now remarried for the, you know, repented of all that because I found out how much all that is a sin. Um, the Lord has truly, truly opened my eyes to this... This past, I would say in the past year, I mean, I praise the King. I praise the King. All glory to the Most High God. And you know, when you are struggling and you want to know something, humble yourself and go through the throne room and pray. Be without sin. Repent of sin and go to the throne room. Hebrews um, 4.16 says, we can boldly go through the throne room for grace and mercy. So pray in the throne room. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. You get a, your prayers answered. And you can put a petition in against the evil one. And it works. It's amazing. I'm God's word. The power behind God's words, people. It's very... You don't realize it. You know, you can read the scripture over and over. But until you really start receiving the words in your heart and... That knowledge is there. It's like wow, the wow factor for me has been like wow, Lord, you're just your name, the power behind your name that the enemies flee, and that's what the Lord has been revealing. So um, I just I wanted to do a quick video, and I I led into this, but take everything to the Lord, put the armor of God on, be prepared, take this message. Um, Discernment, like I said, I do believe something's coming soon. Um, is it going to be this weekend? I don't know, but the Lord showed me the whirlwind. And Matthew Patrick Winfrey is speaking of it. And I was feeling the Holy Spirit on me so strong. And I said, Lord, you want me to share this? Make a video? I said, I thought this was about my family. And I opened up the passage and it says, the truth will set you free. I said, okay. And then I asked again and he was, disciple, share, and <laughs> speak. So I'm speaking this out. God bless you. Please take everything to the Lord. Um, put the armor of God on. Be prepared emotionally. Stock up on some food and water. And... Um, Pray daily. Read his word daily. Repent daily. You want to be ready for the king. He's coming soon. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. 
the power behind his name, the power and glory for what he has done for mankind. It's the magnitude behind that is like, wow. He took the sins away. He gave us the, the authority of this earth back when he went and was in hell for three days. He took the keys back. He bore our pain. He, he sat in hell for us so that we would not be there. So then he, when he rose again, he had control. God took him up out of there, sits at the right hand of the Father, and now, you know, he he's won the victory. He's won that victory for us. He bore our pain. He bore our sickness. And um, just a magnitude of what he did for us, the love, the love. Please, if you don't know him, find him before it's too late. The, you, you will never find another. There's no greater love that you can ever feel, ever, ever feel from a person than you, you would feel from receiving the Holy Spirit and feeling God's presence. It's, it's amazing, amazing. Praise the King. I pray in that every person who hears this has the eyes and ears to hear and that their heart will be touched and they would reach out and and seek you and be saved and be baptized by the Holy Spirit, confess with their mouth their sins. I pray that each and every one of you are blessed to hear this, be prepared. God bless you all. I love you. You have a great night.